In order to act on objectives, SDG 14, Life Below Water, SDG 13, Climate Action, and SDG 3, Good Health and Well-Being. The Sheikh Antijob University Hub has organized a trip consisting of discovering the Salom Island, where we pay a visit to the women transformative of fishing product from John Wall River, reforestation program to plant few trees and many others activities, with the representative of SDSN Youth of Sahel, Pat Malik Dembele. Um, my name is Pap Malik Dembele and I am the Sahel Network Coordinator of uh, SDSN Youth, the Sustainable Development Solution Network. Um, and I'm here with uh, the herb of UCAD, uh, which is a herb uh, that has been uh, started the work of taking action, uh, taking action as far as the, the SDG are concerned. And uh, they have reached a stage, which is the stage of taking action. And uh, as a first step, they have decided actually to come here in uh, the Salum Delta and we have actually uh, run 120 kilometers from the car to here and uh, here the objective is actually to, um, to uh, identify opportunities of sustainable development projects that our herb members will be able to, you know, to, uh, to, to settle here from a couple of times. Hi, my name is Hadija Tujalo. I am the SDG coordinator of Sheikh Hamtaj University. So after the stage of the learning about, we cut up are in the third part of the SDG student program. I mean the taking action. We have been organizing a study trip in the Salem Islands in order to learn more about SDGs, particularly the SDG 13 climate action and 14 life below water to inspire members and to find sustainable solutions. Hello everyone, my name is Fatou Son. I'm a student of Sheikh Antijob University and I'm studying Money, Bank and Finance. My name is Mamadou Silwa. I am a student at Gaston Berger University. I'm also a young environmental advocate in Senegal. I am part of the United Nations Sustainable Development Solutions Network. Uh, I currently serve in, as an SDG coordinator for Gaston Berger University. I advocate uh, mainly for SDG 12, which is meant to ensure sustainable production and consumption. It's a vital uh, SDG. Uh, it allows us uh, to, to think of our production and our consumption, which is the main problem here. Bonjour, je réponds au nom de Geneviève Irène Diouf, élève ingénieur en aménagement du territoire, gestion urbaine et de l'environnement. Aujourd'hui, j'aimerais partager avec vous autour de l'ODD numéro 16, à savoir justice et paix. Pourquoi j'ai choisi ce sujet Ce sujet m'intéresse plus particulièrement parce qu'aujourd'hui, le monde dont nous vivons est victime de toutes sortes de violences, notamment des coups d'État, comme l'exemple tout récemment au Mali, des institutions gouvernementales qui ne sont pas respectées, mais également des enfants qui sont des mendiants et dont le gouvernement ne prend pas en quelque sorte en charge. Hi everyone, my name is Mamadi Sissoko and I'm studying Economics and Management in National School of Economics, Applied Economics, I mean NAR. I love environment and then I discover so many things and I discover so many things about SDGs, like for, specifically for SDG number 13, the climate actions, and then this is why I'm here to just know better about things, discovering and then finding some the matter is going in the environment way and knowing that we're gonna just find solutions at the end. Hello everybody, my name is Lamine Remy Sambo. I was a, a student in Charentot University of Dakar. 
Um, now, currently, I am an English teacher. Um, I, I am more focused about uh, goal number four, education. Because, um, like Nelson Mandela say, education is the most powerful weapon that can be used to change the world. Assalamu alaikum, the world. I am Iliman Job. I'm a bachelor student down in economics at Sheikh Ahmed Job University. We are from SDNU, North Sahel. Once here in this uh, archipelago of uh, Salum, we have firstly discovered uh, a village that, that is called uh, Nyojor. And once in that village, we have discovered very brave uh, women who are actually working in transforming um, alietic and uh, forested products and, and who are really well organized uh, in that process, to whom we have uh, discussed a lot and they have delivered to us the problems and um, all of the things that they are actually doing uh, to better their, 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 their project. Hello everyone, my name is Fatum Gomsa. I am the president of the local federal EIGS of Nyojor. This federal was created in 1986 with seven groups. I was not the president, I became the president in 2016. In general, we are called by women processor of fishery products. This activity is old. We found it here. It's a cultural activity and we plan to let it to our grandchildren. This activity was just for living and now, as you see, life has changed and we do it as an economic activity. And we were working on it and now we have partners who help us we are working as transformative women and we transform here for products like oysters murex sambium mollusk we transform also fish products and we respect hygiene standards Seeing that we have the forests and the beach, we also work on the transformation of the local cereal and forest products. After the transformation, we have some local consumers, but there are some people, they buy the, a lot of our product and resell them in other localities like Dakar, Yes, etc. Yeah, these rooms are very useful. All labor should be diagnosed. We are going to start by this room, the meeting room. After you will go to the changing room. After changing, we are going to tackle the production. For the production, we have some pedal taps, 
After washing our hands, we wear mask and gloves and go directly to the raw material reception room where we do the weighing and calibration. There is another room for the disgorgement and after weighing and washing the cal and calibrating it will have two cooking. The first consists to separate the hole and the pulpit. You wash and go to the steam cooking. It will kill the bacteria and the water evaporates. After drying and conditioning, we will do the baking and we will stock up and the day after we will bring some in the administration and some for the exposition. We have also interviewed a wetland focal point who exposed us actually um, all the problems of uh, this Salum Delta and uh, everything that is in, in relation with all the other activities. So Wetland is an international uh, organization that has really helped us a lot in uh, finding uh, focal points to whom we can uh, discuss the problem of uh, this uh, delta. <laughs> May peace be upon you. I'm greeting you all. My name is Adam Afai. I'm living in New York, where I am a communitarian intermediary for Wetland International, which protects everything in relation with the mangrove. Wetlands helps to find partners because before you came here, you have certainly discussed with Yahya, who is the, the coordinator. He afterward informed me about your visit. This is how we proceed with partners. In fact, the city is very organized as far as the resources are concerned. Fruitous resources like tallow trees, baobabs, tamarinds, jujibs trees, we protect all those resources in the city. Beyond that organization, this city is an administrative division that includes all the 19 islands. So we saw that the protection of those resources would be beneficial for everyone. Reason why that is called an income generating activity. That made us go to see the sub prefect to set for us a bylaw and we would organize a management committee called Cochair. That committee would be in charge of picking the resources when they get ripe. Whosoever wants to have a part should go to Cochair and buy. We are at the same time protecting the ocean in partnership with Songomar protected marine area set in 2014 in Jonwar. But that area is between two administrative divisions. As you may know, that area has an oceanic trench where 45 types of fish live. It is, to the best of my knowledge, and according to some studies, the richest oceanic trench in Senegal in terms of grouper. So that protection has started two decades before this organization. AMP came to enforce us in the supervision on the ocean. Together, we are always on watch. Whoever is found in forbidden area or does not have a fishing license or a life jacket will pay a fine. So we care about, uh, about all the standards required to be a fisherman. This is generally the work of Cochere in the city. If you see why Wetland International works with us, it's somehow because Cochere is working with Fellowship, the local federation of economic interest associations on the quality verification of forested resources. This is why partners like Wetlands can work with us. 
This is also the reason why other projects came here and see the work being done and that makes eager to contribute by helping Kosher. In that process, women go to look for Aliatik products and whatever they bring, they transform it by their own, which is different from what other women associations or other women, uh, individual women are transforming. And those transformations are a very difficult reason why we set for them Jacob's economical management for the mangrove preservation. This is one of the things on which Wetlands International help us. That mangrove in which all the Aleatic resources are from should be preserved at the risk of the resources rarification. As far as the nutrition is concerned, the USAID color came to help children in what they eat because it should be clean. The president of women associations just said that what they transform here is cleanly saved. These are why those other partners came to help us, knowing that we are on the right way. On the other side, there are challenges in the surroundings that we are facing, like the coastal erosion, because we are in islands where the erosion is threatening us. If we had partners that could help us on that side, that would please us. Furthermore, the reason why we plant the mangrove like Avicenia, Rhizophora or Conocartes is because those plants reduce the salt of the ocean that could affect the fishes and the other products. But they also reduce the effects of the erosion because without those trees the lands will fade and therefore there won't be any possible human life here. So in all, the coastal erosion constitutes one of our biggest challenges. For the marketing, we are facing difficulties with the supermarket and the exportation. Because of the packaging, it is our main problem. We need packaging that match with international standards. Um, the packages need some tips for the designs and the barcode and we don't have that me that means so that's the reason why we can't capture the markets. If you see most of the person who are working here, they don't have a high level in their study. So as you can see we don't have an accountant so and we cannot say what exactly we are producing every month or every year so if the young people can come and join us in the in our activity it will be useful because they are they have uh, a certain level in their study and will be very very useful for us we give thanks to God because this room, the processing unit, is a tool. Because most of the time, the more important meetings are organized here. So, for the social, we have a social funds we use to organize some income generating base. So, all the money that we collect from those days, we put it in the social funds, and if our village need help, for the health or education, etc., we take some money from that forms and give it to them because it's our husband, children, parents, grandson who live in this village, and we think that their problem is our problem. So if we can help them, we do it for free. For the reproduction, we are using selective baskets. So the small mollusk won't be fishing. It's called by the sorting phenomenon. And at the same time, we do the reforestation because according to the experts, the seashell need the mangrove to grow well. So we do the reforestation of the mangrove 
to be more productive. For the biological rest, the village fifth told us sometime to stop the activity for a while in order to allow products to reproduce even when we have a certain stock we stop the activity for some time so that the sea will take rest we thought that the mollusk reproduce only during the wintering time but with a study we know now that they produce throughout the year and if we keep fishing them we risk losing varieties so we let them three months the time for them to reproduce we also do the restocking because you can go to the to a bar of the sea where there aren't much much mollusk you put there some and let them the time to grow for the problem we will start to the raw materials particularly the fishery we are facing a problem of conservation we need for instance cold room because sometimes we produce a lot of product but we don't have nowhere to keep it so we are obliged to limit our production we can produce more than what we used to but our only problem is the conservation if we have a cold rule it will be good for us the transformative women and the fishermen too because when the fishermen catch a lot of fishes and they have nowhere to conserve them they throw them back to the sea and it's the same thing for us for the forest products here we have a lot of the low trees and the transformation is manual you know it is not easy to do it in that way with tons of the low we can work and have a lot of money with this product but it won't be possible without means like some materials the tallow juice is liked here in Senegal and we can make a lot of money with that product so a second step of this uh, study trip, we have visited uh, another village called uh, Falia, where we have uh, discovered another center of uh, um, aliatic and forested product uh, that some women there are actually uh, transforming. And they have also ex ex um, uh, told us uh, the problems that they are facing to finish their, uh, their process of those production. We have been in the Falia village to meet some women transformers of Aleutic products. The Falia Center opened its door in 2018 and closed a few months later because of different problems. As we know, the challenge of SVSN is to find sustainable solutions. Now, all these women have lost their main activities. So our challenge is to find solutions for their women.
I have also interviewed different HUB members of ICAT um, HUB and also some students with whom we have come here uh, who are from uh, all um, high universities of, uh, of Dakar and in Senegal in general. And they have um, told us their expression about uh, this, um, this trip and they have shared with us also uh, their preferred um, SDG. Thanks to this organization, they show me many things in here, like the transformation center in, in which there are a strong, brave and courageous women and they are doing a very, very good job. But what they need is just like a helping hand. We were there, we, we have discovered what they need. And for that, we are just trying to find solutions for their problem. So I think this is um, a very good trip. I enjoy being with people, um, people are kind, and El Salom is very nice, nice places, the sea, and a lot of opp opportunities that we can work on. Really, um, it was amazing. Thank you. The more powerful thing that made me being here with other guys is just the fact that I love environment, and then I discover so many things, and I discover so many things about SDGs, like for, specifically for SDG number 13, the climate actions, and then this is why I'm here to just know better about things, discovering, and then finding some some matters going in the environment way, and knowing that we're gonna just find solution at the end, so that we can just um, work together, hand to hand, discovering communities matters, and knowing that we can solve some problems going in environmental ways. Une fois sur cette île, nous avons fait la rencontre de merveilleuses femmes qui se battent jour et nuit pour satisfaire leurs besoins, notamment ceux de leur famille, mais également pour participer à l'économie de leur pays. Ces femmes nous ont, fait, nous ont exposé des problèmes euh, liés à l'exploitation des ressources qui sont sur les lieux, mais également qui sont liés à la distribution de leurs produits. So the first impression I have had in this uh, delta of Salum is the erosion, the, the, the ocean that is actually eating the, the land every single day. And even in uh, the house in which we are, we, uh, we have interviewed with uh, the, the, the owner who told us that the sea was actually uh, something like 140 meters from his own house. And now we, we, we are seeing that the sea is actually in less than uh, 50 meters from his house, 
what means that the sea is actually gaining in terms of space. The sea is actually gaining 8 meters every 6 months. Which is, this means that if we don't have um, um, immediate solutions, all, the, all, this, all this ocean will actually eat all the 19 islands of the delta of Salu. Some solution need, needs to be, uh, to be said uh, here from sometimes and this will help the population of the delta of Salum and this will help uh, the, the ocean not to gain in space. <laughs> Man,